Bhagavad Gita, text 2.40 In the practice of this dharma, no effort is wasted, nor is one's progress ever diminished. Even the slightest practice of this discipline protects one from great danger. Krishna secures Arjuna's attention by first glorifying that which he wants him to ultimately engage in, bhakti. Krishna also wants Arjuna to fight. At this point, he wants him to do so because he is by nature a warrior. But he wants him to fight with knowledge of the self and thus detached from the fruits of his effort, offering them to God. This type of Nishkama Karma Yoga will lead him to Bhakti. Acting with the wisdom of yoga in devotion may look like ordinary religious action, dharma, that is enjoined in the Vedas as a means for material advancement, but it is quite different in terms of its motive and result. When one works according to the scripture, motivated by the prospect of enjoying the fruit of one's labor, such work is troublesome. If even one small item is neglected in such ritualistic performance, one will not get the desired result. If everything is done correctly, the resulting gain will be lost in time. Even if one works selflessly within the realm of karma, one may not get the desired result if something is left undone or the work is improperly performed. There is also the possibility of incurring unwanted reactions within the execution of Nishkama Karma Yoga, should one's duties be improperly performed. In contrast, Bhakti Yoga Dharma, even if imperfectly performed, produces a positive result that is never lost under the influence of time. This is discussed further in the 31st verse of chapter 9.